Hi, this is Amy Shannon, and I'm going to show you how to get the direct link to your reviews. And these are reviews that you have written for other people. Um, I'm going to show you through Goodreads, Amazon, and BookBub. Um, you know, sometimes if you're a reviewer, um, your authors want to know, the authors that you're reviewing for want to know your links. You probably know how to share your links on your own blog by copying the URL. Um, and this is a similar process, but um, for, for each uh, Goodreads, Amazon, and BookBub, the process is slightly different. So um, I'm picked out some books, or a book on Goodreads, a book on Amazon, and a book on BookBub that I have already reviewed. So I can show you how to get the direct link for your review. Now, the first one I'm going to do is Goodreads. So I already have the browser set to Goodreads and a book that I have recently reviewed. Um, so up here, you know, it says that I've read it. Um, if you mark it read, um, then you rate it and you put, post your review. Goodreads allows you to put ratings without actually writing reviews. Um, I write reviews. Well, it's my profession. So um, here we are. It's red. Um, this is my Amy's Bookshelf review account. So now I'm going to scroll down and it will show me my activity. Um, if this was uh, where you were, um, it would show you, if this was your account, it would show you your activity. And this is the, the review. It gives the title of the book, um, any shelf it might be on, the format and um, part of the review. Now, you don't want to click on more. What you want to do is it says comment, say another reader was commenting on it, or um, then they could put a comment on it. You could flag it if it was inappropriate for whatever reason. Or um, to, to get the exact link for your review, because you only see your own activity. Um, when you log in and have a Goodreads account. So then you're going to click on see review and then it'll bring up just my review and any comments if someone wanted to comment on my review. So here it, and of course it has advertisements, but up here you would copy the link and that would be the link that and then you would paste it and send it. And if you um, looked at my other videos, you would actually look for a question mark or a final um, backslash or something um, and then get rid of all that. So you get rid of that, you have a clean link to send to the author. And just to show you, that we got rid of that because question marks are not part of a normal URL. They're part of a, uh, the reference of a session um, and information um, in the coding. Um, and sending a link, we don't need all that stuff. So then I'm going to just show you this. I'm going to copy and go back up to here. I'm going to open a new window over here. And then I'm going to paste and go, and it will bring you right to my review. So I'm going to close that, and then I'm going to close this one. Now, if you have an Amazon book that you've reviewed, um, and this is a book I recently reviewed, um, so. Uh, I reviewed the Kindle book of this um, person's book. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to where they have reviews. Now, this is where they list the reviews. If there were other ones, they would be listed here. Now, if I clicked on Amy's Bookshelf Reviews, it would go to my profile page. But I'm not looking for that. Um, I know where my profile page is. Um, what you want to do is click on the heading of your review and so i click on that and it'll bring me right here to this is just my review that was written um you could edit it 
if you wanted to, you could delete it if you wanted to for whatever reason. Um, and then you would could go up here, like you wanted to send it to your author. You copy the entire link. You would paste it, however you want to give it to them. And then Amazon has that reference. So we look for the back, the final backslash, and then all the ones past that reference and everything. And that reference that I, you know, went and looked for my link. So I'm going to delete that. And now we have a clean link to send the author and let them know. So that way they can go right to the review if they want to. When you do a review, some authors want that, some don't. So I'm going to go back to home and I'm going to uh, see my home page. And I'm going to paste and go. And it'll bring me right there without all that extra stuff. The um, final place I wanted to show you is um, get, getting the, the link from the reviews from BookBub. Now, I go, the first thing you do <clears throat> is you go to your, if you have a BookBub page, obviously, um, you can have a, uh, an account for free if you're an author and your books can, and you can list your books there. If you're a reviewer, um, and you want to be able to post reviews in book, book, BookBub, you can just create an account and do your reviews. So this is my review page. The one thing I want to do is up here, because I'm not an, if I had, was an author, there would also be a, a um, navigation point that would say books, which would mean any book that I've written. I have my Amy Shannon book club page, and that's where my books are listed. But this is just for my bookshelf review page. Um, so what I want to do is to find a review link. So I'm going to click on reviews. And to be honest, this is something that I actually learned recently on how to do this um, in case someone ever did that, wanted the direct book club review. Um, so then... I um, will go to, um, now here's a list of all the books I've reviewed um, on BookBub. Not all books are listed. And then I click um, here on finished. And it will go right to the link for my review. And the thing about BookBub is that there's nothing extra. It's a, it's a clean link so you copy this and and you send it to the author um you could edit it from here you could change it whatever you want to do or you can just send the link so the author knows that it's been posted there there are other review organizations um that ask for uh you know um the link to your book bub uh, review if you posted it there. So this, um, if you review for those as well, um, I do. I review for uh, several organizations, but my priorities are the authors that um, do requests. Um, but it's always good to know uh, the direct links. So I have recently added um, to my letters um, the different links directly to the reviews. Sometimes Amazon's post right away, sometimes they post later. And now I send the author the direct link to Amazon if it was done, if it was posted after um, I have already sent the email that the review was posted. So I'm just going to close out of here. And um, this has been Amy Shannon. And I just want to thank you. And I hope this was informative.